What's going on, my friends? This is Ken. Today we are taking the 454 heads apart. Like right now, I'm in the process of using this new uh, tool I got off on Amazon. Basically, uh, it's com basically it compresses the their your valve springs, and uh, you just put it on here like this. Uh, and you make sure it goes on each valve and you just twist this so and uh, basically compress it you know you gotta it gives you a tool like a little piece of metal like this which uh, we don't like so instead I, uh, I've been using uh, my screwdriver and uh, and a magnet I think the screwdriver is over here and you basically just, uh, you know, twist twist this around like this, and you can just kind of twist it like so. Until the little the little keepers in here, the spring, I think they're called the the valve the keepers, until they are able to come out. There's one. And I've been taking these these things and make sure I keep them all sorted and stuff. As you can see, I already have some taken out here. And uh, actually these aren't, aren't a part of it. I've been trying to uh, keep these all organized as much as possible here. You see, I believe this is the exhaust and this is the intake ones. Now, I've noticed I took one out already and it was broken. This was a shredded two pieces, so I'm, I'm definitely going to have to... I'm going to get all new of those. Uh, I'm going to get new of these things. Forgive me of my uh, horrible terminology. Uh, now, the springs... I'm I'll probably going to go ahead and get new springs too. Uh, see, my, my when I talked to my machinist, he told he told me that when I am since I'm rebuilding this 454, that I need a I need a plan. A plan, as in like, is this going to be like a street, like pro street, a drag car, and all that? Uh, my plan is to just make it a, a just a regular street car, you know. Uh, I want to get a a Monte Carlo, an '83 through '88 Monte Carlo, and and I just want to, you know, I want a nice rumbling engine. I just want to have fun with it, you know. I don't, I don't want to do anything crazy. And uh, I keep losing my stuff, so I don't want to, I don't want to get too serious. Not right now, anyways. I'm not. I'm not going any, after any kind of any forged pieces. So I got that one out. I don't want to go after any any forged pieces at all. I mean, if I unless I can find one on like Facebook, which I have I have found. Uh, there's people out there that bought like a pistons and stuff. I thought about going buying a forged pistons, but then again, those are super expensive. So, you know, I just, I'm still, I'm, I'm thinking about just you using the heads too. So it'd be kind of, I think it'd be kind of silly just to keep buying like uh, brand new Forge stuff when, oops. Oh, one thing I did forget that there's also these things that come out too, which I'll show you. Well, if you're wanting to get this. A uh, tool on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Springs come right out. And then these, like, I don't know if they're rubber, but they're like kind of latex or something. And I've just been sorting everything here. Obviously, I need to get a much bigger 
containers here. <laughs> I bought those for like, for six of them, they're only like a couple bucks on Amazon. And uh, I'm probably going to get some more too. I'm looking into perhaps getting a, a much bigger toolbox for in here too. Uh, because, you know, with all this, uh, you know, with all this, you know, the, I'm going to start working on more American engines, so I'm, I'm probably going to need more tools. You see, this is intake, uh, this is the intake valve. It's pretty nasty. Um, it's pretty, uh, grimed up there, as you can see. So, Rock Auto has these for only, like, for two of them, like, I don't know, like, seven or eight bucks for two of them. I think maybe maybe a little more I'm not sure but I thought about just getting all new ones and just basically keep the head and get it, take it to the machine shop where I'm getting my block machined he still has it. it's been about three weeks now uh, which is fine I'm not I'm in no rush at all to do this but he's gonna I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about taking this this iron block or the iron heads and getting them machined Uh, I'm gonna see if he can machine him, get the you know all the threads redone and everything, and I'll see what he can do there. So, yeah, I've just been taking taking my valves and sticking them in here. You know, I I don't even know why I'm sorting these out really, because I'm probably gonna get these all replaced anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just trying to stay organized here. I guess. And I still have to buy uh, rocker arms. Uh, actually, they, this this came with the the factory rocker arms here too. But and there there is obviously there's still wear on them. As you, as you can see here, there's a bunch of there's still wear on them. But I don't know. I might you know. Invest a little money here, and since I'm re might as well re since I'm rebuilding it, I might as well just spend some money, get new rocker arms. I'm gonna get new. Definitely gonna get new of these. These are the uh, lifters, I believe. Probably just gonna get all new of those. These uh, brackets or whatever these are. I'm just trying my hardest to keep these organized here. What do you guys think? Should I just go all out and like get these machined, which would be probably cheaper than buying all new aluminum heads? I think uh, for one, a fully built aluminum head is a thousand dollars off of like uh, Edel, the Edelbrock ones are a thousand dollars. So I'd spend two thousand dollars getting uh, two new ones of these that are fully built and ready to go, basically. Or I can spend probably I don't know a hundred dollars to have him just uh, surface, um, you know, put a new surface on on this side here, which it needs real bad, and I'll have him just. Uh, do his machining thing for this and I don't know we'll see I, I, I you know I'm trying to save money so it probably just be best for him for me to just keep these heads and just uh, put put on new parts in this way I can also I can learn so this is, this is my first uh, a uh, big block build so I might just say the heck with it and just rebuild this or uh, or just rebuild it but like I'm gonna, I'm gonna save money and rebuild it myself and uh, just buy the all the parts and just like yeah rebuild it myself what am i thinking i just lost my train of thought i just had somebody message me and so i'm like okay these are 
What are these? These are like bearings, I think. Okay. See, this is obviously my first time doing it, so people are probably like laughing. And this is this is to me this is gonna be so fun because you know never doing this before uh, I'm learning a whole lot right now but just by doing this I might and I'm thinking about putting something underneath this to raise it up a little bit I have some old brake shoes here for my 3000 GT put this underneath here like this just to so I can kind of see it better because I'm looking down at it. There's got to be a better way here. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm definitely going to save these pieces because I have no clue what they're for. Dump out my uh, bolts for my uh, engine stand here, and we'll just uh, put those in here like that. And I'll remember to take those out as well. So, uh, I probably take a picture just to remember what what these look like when I put them in when I put them in, which I probably don't need to do that. I don't know which side goes, how this side goes like this. Okay, so I see that the, the valve springs go on top of here, and this just, okay, that should be a problem. And the cool thing about doing this myself, like, uh, it's so easy because YouTube, man. I mean, there's like so many videos on YouTube that can help me basically do this on my own. I think my wife's about to, to mow the lawn. She always likes to do stuff like that when I'm getting ready to make a video. <laughs> There's one. There's two. And I do believe these called these are called the keepers, right? I think. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, this is the tr the transmission I'm thinking about using. This is a 4L60E. Uh, you know, this, this only cost me 75 bucks too. So uh, I might change my mind and just use a depending on which car I get, or which vehicle I get. If I get the Monte Carlo. I might just use a turbo 400 instead but if I get like a if I get this truck I'm looking at I'm looking at a Chevy Silverado I might use this one but the thing is with these bolts uh, <laughs> I stripped the hell out of them already See that one right there and that one so I got a problem so what I did was I went out to I went on Amazon bought a, uh, a die grinder which is really nice. This is a the Inger Soul brand. Really nice brand. Uh, but when I wasn't when I went to purchase the the bits, I got the wrong size. These are uh, eighth inch shank bits. I needed a quarter inch. <coughs> Excuse me. What do I have? Corona. <laughs> so yeah, once I uh, get the correct bits. 
what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to grind these off. I'm going to, I'm going to get the flat, the flat grinder or the fret, the, the metal thing and make a, like a line through here. And I'm going to see if I can turn it. If not, I'll just, I'll just grind the head completely off. Which I, I don't think I want to do that either. Cause I want to, I've got to have a, a bite here. So I might grind like a straight line through this and then use like a really big flathead screwdriver or something to try to turn those bolts. Um, once I get those off, you know, I can start trying to tear the tear this apart. Uh, I was a, I was a real idiot, <laughs> and you know I had it turned upside like that. I had it turned up upside down like this, and all the tranny fluid just leaked everywhere. Yeah, the, my whole the whole area here was just tranny fluid everywhere, and so I just took all the uh, I took my whole bag of oil dry and soaked it all up. So. Uh, another thing I'm, I'm wondering if I should do is if I should get a, I know I'm going to get a whole new, I'm going to get a new cam because this one's all got some spots on it I don't like and the crank, it could, you know, I don't know, it's got lines through it a little bit. Um, for 280 bucks, you can go on, on Summit and get a whole new one. So I might just sit a hell of it and, you know, since that's like a. A major part of the engine I might just completely you know re uh, get a whole new one a steel one off of summit and uh, I know for another 200 300 dollars I can get a brand new cam and uh, hydraulic lifters from comp cams for another three hundred dollars so I might just do that So, I'll just keep, oh, I already got it out, so, I had to pause my recording because my wife's out there mowing and making all sorts of noise and we're discussing something, so, all I have to do is just, after taking those two uh, keepers out, you can basically, this comes out real easy, just move it over to the next one, or just set it over there. Go ahead and take your, your spring. Oh, it just fell out. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is one thing I've been I'm looking I'm seeing these these uh these are the exa this is the exhaust side and these uh like here I'll show you. So like these pieces here you see, uh, these are hard and brittle and just crumble into pieces. And that's what a lot of these, a lot of these have, are coming out as. They're coming out all tore up and messed up. And so I'm obviously going to have to replace all these. real bad I'll just I'm gonna replace all these little pieces here you know get all new ones I'm gonna figure out look at these little pieces just coming out of there well if you guys are wondering this is a gen 5 block so Coming out, it basically comes out of a 19, I think it's a 1990, or actually no, 91 through 95. Well, mostly trucks, so. But I, I plan on, I plan on putting this into a car. You know, with the right mods to it, it'll still run pretty good, I think. And you know the the block is a four bolt main too, so it, it'll definitely if I really wanted to eventually like it, I could all I can replace all the parts and I can replace all all these parts that I'm going to put in, into forged stuff. If I 
save up later on if I want to reuse this block, which I probably won't. I'll probably just get a whole new block. It'd be kind of silly to, I think, to uh, completely redo this block and then turn around and take it all back apart. You know? It's also a good thing to have this magnet. It really, really helps out. So hopefully, hopefully within the next week or so, uh, this machinist is will have my block done. He he sent me a message, or actually I talked to him two weeks ago. Said he should have it done this week sometime. You know, you guys wonder why is it taking us so long? It's because he. You know, he's an older guy. He's probably in his, almost in his 70s, I think. Or 60s or 70s. He's a pretty old, got older guy. Uh, he used to race cars. Like stock cars and stuff. I don't know if he did, but his, his family did. And, uh... And so... You know, he's got... And he's, he also... He has a bunch of other projects... That he's doing when, I, when he gave me a tour of his shop he had several motors that looked like he was working on so i wonder if we can take this apart i think i remember watching a video where you can actually take this thing apart And all this is like bearing, it's like small bearings in here. It's all, I believe. I do have a pizza coming too, so I got to kind of be mindful. Hmm. I don't know. I, I thought, I, I Thought I remember watching a video where you could take those apart, but apparently, apparently not. So, all right, here's our intake valve. Also nasty. All getting replaced. So, let's get two more here. Look how easy this is, huh? <laughs> I was, well, I'm going to have to keep the camera over here. Oh, yeah, I was uh, totally surprised. I started uh, taking these first three out. I started taking these uh, first three over here out like a little bit ago, thinking how this might be really hard to do. But, man, this is actually, with this tool, it's, it's actually kind of easy. Uh, now, when I go to... When I go to uh, install these, then that might be a little, a little challenge. Well, I can tell this uh, that little rubber piece or the or whatever that piece is called, it's broken up because I'm I'm seeing pieces uh, come out of here. So Oops. I got all that. All these pieces are toasted. I might, I might actually replace these springs with uh, the springs that have the the double the springs inside as well. 
I'm gonna look into that. All right, so sounds like my pizza's here. So let's do this one last one. Here comes a kid. I can hear. I think a kid's gonna come in here. Pizza here? Yes. Okay, I'll be in a minute. Okay. Yeah, see this okay? Oh yeah. Easy. Easy money. So, when you guys have any questions, comments, all you professionals out there that know a whole hell of a lot more than I do, have any suggestions, feel free to uh, leave those in the comments below. You know, obviously I'm not a pro at this at all. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing this for fun, really. I'm going to put that over here for the next head. I'll, I'm going to do the, head, the other head off, off camera. You guys probably don't see me do all that. I'm, you know, these new springs I'm, I'm looking at have the the double spring inside. Hopefully, they're the ones I I should get. And let's uh, finish this part up here. Before I, let, before I let you guys go, I'll flip this thing over so we can see the, uh, the other side of this. See how well it looks. Heads are these 454 heads are you know they're made out of iron so they're extremely heavy. Let me get my other other rag. Move my brake shoe for my Mitsubishi. This is. Basically, basically, just needs to be cleaned up. Looks fine. Just needs to be the needs to be jet washed. You know. Let's uh. One thing I've learned from this build, from from my Mitsubishi build, is that I'm going to definitely record close up shots of all these pieces while I'm doing it this way. I can always go back, see how they're put in, just in case if I have any questions. You know, so all right, let's uh, oh, it's I was wondering what what, what that's sitting on. It's, it's sitting on my 350 heads, these are 350. Oh, guys, I uh, was looking on Facebook Marketplace last night because you know, I have this uh. The 350 small block right here that eventually it's a I might get it machined eventually. Uh, you know, these are the iron heads to it. Some guy was giving away a free 350 LT1 block. And the damn thing had aluminum heads on it. And if I had a truck, 
I'd be getting it. I would have, I would have already got the damn thing right now. But I don't have a truck, so I couldn't get them. So I was, I was really disappointed in that. All right, so let's uh, let's flip this over. Get my my uh, rags that I threw over here. And let's flip this bad boy over. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, these are obviously going to be cleaned up really well. Let's get my light real quick. This cheap piece of crap spray gun don't work. Better off just throwing that in the garbage and saving somebody else the headache. Wow. Look grimy and nasty this stuff is. What's going on in this one? All those exhaust sides are they're, they're nasty. Yeah, he'll uh, I'll uh, definitely take this to to him, and basically what he'll do is uh, he'll deck the surface for me, or he'll basically like he'll surface this to the bare metal to make it look nice and shiny he'll jet wash it and i'm assuming that he can clean all all that will come out with all with all the jet wash um i'll have to ask him about this and then hopefully you know he'll also do the exhaust side and the intake side so I don't know, hopefully he'll do all that for me. I don't see any cracks anywhere. It's a lot of dirt and grime anywhere, but tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh give me some, you know, comments of uh, any improvements or anything. You know, since this is I'm a rookie doing this. This is my first ever uh Chevy build. And you guys are probably, why are you starting all the way up towards the top of the list at a 454 and not just like a, you know, a 305 or a 302 or a, you know, or a Chevy small block. <laughs> I actually did buy that one first. I don't know. I'm just crazy, I guess. Um, you know, 454 has always been my, one of my favorite engines, especially in the, uh, the 90 through 90, the uh, 91 through 95 Chevy 454 SS's pickup trucks. And, you know, I've always wanted a Monte Carlo as well. I actually had a 99 Monte Carlo uh, Z34. Uh, but, you know, those were front wheel drive. I had, I had that 99 for six years. I absolutely love that car, but... I always wanted to go back to the old NASCAR days and get the uh, 80, the 80s style Monte Carlo SS's. So, all right, guys, th throw me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube for more uh, videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.